Hello and welcome to my Slim and Well vlog. We're on day two of my motivational vlogs and today's motivational quote is switching your mindset from hope I can do this to I'm going to make this shit happen is a game changer and isn't it just? We're in control of our own destiny and we can do this. So I'm just getting myself ready. I am so behind every morning at the moment. I'm just so much slower to get started in the winter because I don't want to get out of my bed. I don't want to get out of my dressing gown. I just want to drink tea. <laughs> Again, it's all along the lines of those comfort things that we were speaking about isn't it hello and welcome back i'm claire howard and this is day two of my let's get our backsides in gear and get motivated on this slim and well journey well, let's just be motivated coming into winter huh let's be honest it is that time of year where it's very easy to throw in the towel that's how I've been feeling anyway. It's not just with Simon Wild, it's with everything. I'm just very unmotivated at the moment. Again, um, I'm just charging my watch up upstairs, so I forgot to do it last night. It is that time of year where I could quite happily wrap myself up and stay on the sofa. It's taken me so much longer to get going in the morning. Again, I am running a bit late today. Uh, change to the breakfast plan. This is why plans are no good for me, as I mentioned yesterday. I often forget to order things, and this is where my plans change. I didn't order any eggs of all of the things. I use eggs all the time. And the reason I didn't order eggs, and I know why I didn't order eggs, because it annoys me, because Asda still don't let me order large eggs. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to find a different shopping provider, because I'm a little bit annoyed that I now don't seem to be able to get four pints of skimmed milk on my Asda online shop. I don't understand this, because surely they have everything online that they have in the shop, but they don't seem to. Because if I go in the shop now, I'm pretty certain I can pick up four pints of skimmed milk. Yeah, I can't order it online at the moment. Also, large eggs. Do they not do large eggs anymore? I need to go and check this out because I can only order medium eggs. I don't want medium eggs. I want large eggs. So anyway, after school today, I will stop off and pick up some eggs and some skimmed milk because I didn't order either of those and now I really need them. So breakfast today has changed. I won't be having eggs. I'm a bit late and I can't really be bothered to eat at the moment. So I'm just heating up my stag chili, which I'm going to take to work. I have got a banoffee pie k bag, and I'm just going to pop some of my fruit into some pops, uh, pots. And I'm going to take that to work and I'll just have yogurt and fruit when I get to work. Also, I do think this evening's dinner is going to change. I have got the vegetable soup. Not 100% how long that's going to take in my slow cooker. And now today, I'm not going to be coming straight home after school. I've got an after school club, so I won't be getting back till about five. I might do chicken curry instead if my mum has picked my Mayflower sauce up that she was going to. So it's a bit of a change of plan, as in there is no plan today, but I'll sort it out have a motivational quote for you again today i love a motivational quote whenever i'm looking through instagram it makes my morning when i come across the first quote that i love and i'm like yep yeah, that one's for me that is me today so our quote today is switching your mindset from i hope i can do this to i'm gonna make this shit happen that's it it's all in the mind isn't it that's what i'm saying like i'm feeling lazy and unmotivated and it'd be easy to say oh i hope i can lose a couple of pounds before christmas no i'm gonna i'm gonna lose a couple of pounds before christmas i'm not gonna go off track and i'm not gonna stop putting on weight before christmas fully gonna enjoy christmas do not think that i'm not gonna be the person eating all the cheese and bread on the cheese board but that is just christmas that's not november that's not now except sunday when i am going out but I'm gonna do what I can on the days I can do. So this is the thing, isn't it? Going into Christmas, there are special days, there are days you go out and do things. And I'm no party people. I don't get to go out as often as I would like. You know, I'm at home with the kids most nights. Mark and I treat ourselves to the odd weekend away and we do get away occasionally, but it's not an every month or an every weekend thing. So when I've got a few things on over Christmas, you better believe I'm gonna go out, I'm having the cocktails and I'm having the food. I'm gonna enjoy them. I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm gonna make the choices that are more slim and well friendly. I'm just enjoying my time out. But the week following that into the next week where there's a non-event, I'm gonna try and be on plan because I could quite easily now, if I said to myself now, I'm gonna go off plan up until Christmas, I can guarantee you that for my lunch from now until Christmas and probably all the way through January and halfway through February before I get back on track, I would switch and I'd be having a sort of um what are they called like a menu not a menu 
meal deal, a meal deal from the shop, from the co-op opposite. I would then start spending my mornings stopping off at co-op. I would pop in there. Well, I tell you, I know that this is what I would do because this is what I do when I'm not on Slimming World. I, my go-to sandwich would probably be an egg and cress. Love that. It would be a jumbo or grab pack size of barbecue hula hoops. Pepsi Max, I am a creature of habit when it comes to my meal deals. I used to be all about the fancy sandwiches, now I just like an egg one or a cheese and onion. So the crisps as well. And then I'm like, oh, I didn't really want to pick between crisps and a chocolate bar. So there would be a chocolate bar going in there too. And more often than not, especially coming into Christmas or maybe it's a Friday or a Saturday or any other excuse I can think about, there will be a pack of those little biscuits that they do. Um, the millionaire shortbread, little kiwi things, yep. And they're usually like two for three or four pounds. So that'd be two packs, maybe flapjacks, which I'd say are for my mum. The millionaire shortbread for me. And by the end of the day, every time I'm in between a client, I would have eaten most of those, then eaten my lunch. So on top of that, when it comes to quick breakfast, we know I'm always rushing around in the morning, I'm a toast monster. So that would then start being two slices of toast in my toaster, and I like a lot of butter on my toast. So I can easily fill my day up with a shed load of bread. And you can imagine what that is gonna do to me and my weight by the time it gets to January, February. And then once you get that far off track, is finding the motivation to get back on track. That's where your big problem is. I could say now I'm gonna have six weeks off until after Christmas, but it wouldn't be six weeks. It'd probably be more like 12 weeks because January, February, I don't fancy being particularly on plan on those months. They're worse than these months, aren't they? I'm not a fan of January, February. At least we've got like the Christmas buzz and we're busy with things to look forward to this time of year, which is what makes it difficult. Um, so I probably wouldn't get started till spring if I'm perfectly honest, which is why I'm gonna do my best to stay on plan around the bad meals and the bad days. I'm oh, not bad, that's the wrong word. The good meals, the great meals, the good times and the Christmas festive days. I'm gonna stay on plan the rest of those days. I'm also now gonna go because I am running late. I'm gonna get myself ready. Hi. Just got in from work, school run. 10 to five, I'm absolutely starving. I'm just pouring myself Pepsi Max and munching on some raspberries. I've got a bit of that. I don't know if you ever get it where. I don't think I've had that much sweet. I just had my stag chili at lunchtime and I feel like I need some sugar or something. I feel a little bit shaky. Put <laughs> me raspberries, I'm gonna get my curry in. This is why I don't know why I'm at a food plan because otherwise it is handy because I know what meals I've got but tonight's supposed to be soup but I'm going to do chicken curry. My mum picked me up some Mayflower chicken curry. Sorry if it's boring because you've seen this before but it's one of my favourites. I literally love this stuff. I think it's four cents for 100 grams of sauce made up as directed on the packet. You can usually pick this up in B&M Home Bargains. I think about £1.20 now. I'm going to get my chicken thighs out. And rice and chips because I am that hungry. Feeling a bit better now these raspberries are kicking in. <laughs> yeah, get on with cooking. So about to weigh out my sauce. I'm going to make my curry sauce up in my slow cooker now and then I'm going to air fry my chicken thighs and pop them in there as well. So I'm obviously not slow cooking it but using my slow cooker to cook it. So packet instructions is 85 grams with 340 ml of uh, water. That usually works fine for all of us. So that will serve four. There we go. I just boiled the kettle and I'm going to whisk this up in my slow cooker. So I'm putting 340ml of water. You can make this up with cold water, which is what I would usually do if I'm doing it in a pan on the hob. I would put cold water in and then whisk it as it thickens up as the water heats. I want to put my peas in and get this cooking, so I'm starting it off hot. So there is my sauce. 
might heat my peas up in the microwave and then pop them into the sauce. So I'm gonna air fry my chicken, I'm all back to front here. I am just gonna cut up my potatoes. I'm gonna parboil them in obviously the microwave and then they're gonna go in my air fryer, but I just wanna get those on the go first because they kind of take the longest really. So peel them. I, I am hungry and I should never be left in control of cooking when I'm hungry because we were gonna end up with so much food tonight. But um, it's all slim and well friendly food and that is what counts, isn't it? It's not that we can't eat the food, it's just choosing the food that is on plan and being someone who likes to eat and eat nice big meals. This is why Slim and Wild works so well for me. So with my curry tonight, I am gonna do rice, and I'm gonna also do some mushrooms and onions in my curry. I'll pop them in the air fry with the chicken, and then that'll all go in the sauce. So even though it's cooking in the slow cooker, it's really just to sort of mix it up in there. It doesn't actually need to cook as such in the slow cooker. All right, typically now I can't find the lid the pot that I want to use in the microwave. There it is. So this, I bought this one or two re renovations ago, again, when we didn't have kitchen facilities. And it's actually a veg steamer, it has a little tray that goes in the bottom here, so you can steam your veg in the microwave. But I use it for rice, for parboiling my potatoes, for doing veg in the microwave, and it was just really, really handy. And it makes the most perfect rice. Since I've had this, I don't think I would ever do rice in a pan again, because it's just so much easier in, in the microwave. Obviously, I will be doing my rice in it in a little while, so I'll show you how that goes. But first, just cutting up my chips, nice chunky chips. I love chips and curry. If I'm getting it from the Chinese, I want chips and rice. So if I'm doing it at home, I'm having chips and rice. So that is it. Have stayed on plan today. What have I had? So I've been at work. I just took, this is why I'm hungry actually. I just had a Kvark yogurt um, for breakfast. So that's half a sin. I didn't eat my fruit that I took to work. That's actually still sat on the side. And then I had my stag chili. I did have some hula hoop puffs, which is three and a half cents. And that's all I've had until I've just now come home and scoffed a load of fruit. I think considering how hungry I actually feel right now, like, well, to stick to the fruit, this would be a time when I would really appreciate some boiled eggs in my fridge. Oh, depo, depo. Pop those after 12 minutes. I did just stop and pick up eggs, skimmed milk, things that I needed on the way home. I've also got some peas. When my potatoes come out, I'm going to quickly whiz these in the microwave just so they're hot and not going frozen into my sauce because it's a slow cooker. It does get really hot when it's on high. I don't think it's quite enough to cook my peas. Like, obviously, the way I'm cooking this is a little bit backwards to how you would do it if you'd had a hob. Like, Mayflower curry is the easiest curry to cook when you're doing it on a hob. I would literally fry up my chicken, fry up my onions and mushrooms, pop them in a colander on the side, and then pop the sauce with cold water into your pan, whisk that up, then add the chicken, onion and mushrooms back in, and some frozen peas, and you're done. Just gotta then do your rice or potatoes or whatever you're having with it. So because I obviously don't have a hob right now, my way of cooking it is a little bit backwards and forwards, and there's a bit more, a few more elements and things to think of just to get everything to cook together, really. But this is one of my favourite dinners because it is, if you haven't had it, you need it. I'm just saying that like, you only need it if you love like a Chinese chicken curry or something. My sister done it the other week with prawns. I think she's done it with beef as well. It's just amazing. It's so good. The closest thing you will get to a Chinese chicken curry. Like as a fake away, it is actually just like the real thing. So the other night when we did have our Chinese, had been planning on stopping on the way home and getting some of this and I thought I would do it. But the, the lazy me said, no, let's just have a Chinese. Um, so that's what we've done. But tonight I'm going to have it and I'm really looking forward to this dinner. It's one, well done, one of my favourite, favourite dinners. Pop that away in the cupboard. So yeah, my fries are in. I'm now going to cut up my chicken. I am using chicken thighs. Um, you can use chicken breast. I just like the texture and the taste of chicken thighs. I think sometimes chicken breast can be a bit more dry. Chicken thighs just have that bit more to them, I think. I'll chop those up and then they're going to be going in my air fryer. 
Once I've drained my chips and got them in my colander, I like to give them a really good shape up. I think this is the trick to get them a little bit crunchy and crispy. So I'm gonna give them a good spray with some Fry Light. bit of salt and pepper and then they are going to go in the air fryer. I think I parboiled them a little bit too long. They're a bit crumbly but sometimes they come out better like that. So this is them all ready to go in. They're not going to take too long just to crisp up and make some nice chips. So like I said, I'm just going to put my rice in here. I haven't measured this. Um, it's going to go into my throat for about 12 minutes. Put it on. My chicken curry is all in here, ready to serve. It smells divine. I'm just waiting on my chips and rice. And I'm waiting for Mark to get home so that we can dish up. I'm so hungry and I'm super proud of myself because I have just stuck to those raspberries and blueberries. I might have a couple of bits of chicken as they come out of the air fryer. Mm -hmm. Really looking forward to this. This is honestly my favorite dinner. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, let me know how your week's going. So we are on day two. Hopefully I am on track to get my videos on. So I'll get this vlog on tonight. So this is Tuesdays. And we've got tomorrow's and then Thursday. I'm going to look in to see how we do the premiere. And it's a live message or text chat, not chat chat. I don't think I'm quite up for a live live yet. So these were possibly the best Slim and World chips I've ever made. I don't know what I'd done different, but they were absolutely fabulous. I gave myself six sins for this curry because we did have more than a quarter of what was made up and it was absolutely delicious. Don't forget five vlogs coming up this week. So do like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one.